Hey guys, this is Shar with ASMR Shar Positive Energy. I hope everyone's doing well and I'm just going to adjust my camera. I am joined today by the lovely Katie, who is with um, Weather. She has a great YouTube channel, Weather Shaman ASMR, that I'm going to put in the link below. And we're going to do a nice little collab self-love valentine's video we also did a collab on her channel which you should totally go check out i'll leave the link below um and katie do you want to um talk about your channel a little bit yes uh sure thank you so much for having me on your channel and yes everybody uh my name is katie and i'm from the youtube channel weather shaman asmr i am a reiki master and a shamanic life coach and i do uh, Zoom sessions with clients across the world that are wishing to dive into their life purpose and who are looking for healing on a deep metaphysical and spiritual level. I do Reiki and life coaching and I make ASMR Reiki videos, meditation videos and singing bowl videos, anything with a positive high vibration. So check it out. Definitely. And Katie, and I can speak from personal experience that Katie, I've done life coach Reiki and past life regression with Katie online um and she's amazing i recommend all of her services and a card reading i've done i've done a lot of all of it basically it's, it's she's wonderful she's um, amazing her videos are amazing so definitely subscribe and check out her services they're awesome so um thank you char oh no problem <laughs> and um and so today again this is um we're going to be posting this probably a little before valentine's day so we're going to be focusing on self-love and sort of raising that um, self-love kind of vibration. And we're going to start with some taking some sort of breaths to calm down. And we both have some candles to light. Um, I have this one called Ardent. And it's uh, Rose and Jasmine, which Rose is my, I love both of those. And Rose, I found out recently. Um, is one of the one of the highest vibrational, highest frequency aromatherapies like scents, and that's actually perfect for like um, at, like Valentine's Day with roses and stuff. And so I'm gonna light this and just uh, do some breaths. And Katie, what um, which candle do you have? So this is patchouli pine, and so it's more of a grounding scent. Patchouli and pine are very grounding aromas to help us to ground this love, ground this energy, and to help us more, feel more secure in love. And it says, follow your arrow, and mm -hmm. about following your inner compass, your intuition, and uh, continue being true to oneself. Oh, I absolutely love that. That's actually perfect. And the arrow actually reminds you of that Cupid arrow too, <laughs> like the romance. Oh, I love that. I never thought of that. Like Valentine's, but I love that follow your inner compass and just, yeah, exactly. So I like that we have the high frequency sort of um, rose one of the grounding um, follow your compass. Like I think those go really well together. And I'm hearing do what lights your fire. <laughs> trying to use matches. Ah, there we go. And so tell me again, Kenny, what the scent was on that one? Cedar? It was patchouli pine. Oh, patchouli pine. Wow. That sounds like real. I love the smell of pines. And I don't know the smell of patchouli offhand. Yeah, patchouli has a very 70s hippie scent to it. It's, oh. it's a really really a lot of incense have patchouli in it it's oh mm -hmm. it's got like a sweet earthy woodsy scent Ooh. oh that sounds awesome mixed with the pine and so just if everyone just wants to gaze into the candles and think about following your arrow and grounding as well as receiving high vibrational rose jasmine energy let's take a few deep breaths as you gaze into the flame let's breathe in Out, breathing in the beautiful vibrations, and out, breathe in 
Feeling the rose and the pine and patchouli, jasmine, and breathe out. And just as you gaze into these two flames, um, try to um, be, I know it can be hard with a to-do list, with all these busy, you know, things that everyone has to do, responsibilities, but let's, if everyone could just try to take the breaths and be in the present moment and gaze into the flames and set your own intentions if you want for this week of Valentine's Day. And also I'd like to set the intention of um, clearing space, any sort of negative self-dislike, self even hate, um, negative self-image. Um, if you could just sort of release those into the flame to make space for beautiful self-love, self-healing, self-acceptance um, and approval are just, um, I know for me, approval for some reason, especially is very, uh, it can be hard to, to feel that. Mm -hmm. And just breathe easily, breathe naturally as you close your eyes or look at the flames. Imagine the sense if you're clairsentient, you can definitely smell them. All right, that's beautiful. And I'm gonna set the candle back here. I also have another candle that's a self love. Um, that we did on Katie's uh, collab video. And so next I'm going to use a 528 tuning fork, um, which is the love hertz, um, or 528 hertz, which is the love frequency. And I want to just do, and you can repeat these as well, um, while the tuning fork is going for sound healing, and lifting your vibrations, I'm going to do some affirmations, and you can either just listen, repeat in your mind, or repeat out loud if you wish. So, you are loved. You are loved. I'm going to switch to the I. Um, I am accepted. I am accepted. I am truly approved. I am truly approved. I have intrinsic value and worth. I have intrinsic value and worth. I love myself inside and out. I love myself inside and out. So. I am worthy of a comfortable, joyful life. I am worthy of a comfortable, joyful life. I am worthy not only of self-love, but true love. I am worthy not only of self-love, but of true love. In, um, in a romantic sense. In a romantic sense. Oh, that one was a little broken. <laughs> I allow the frequency of love to go into every cell of my being. I allow the frequency of love to go into every cell of my being.
and lead by love and not fear. And lead by love and not fear. I love myself, mind, body, and soul. I love myself, mind, body, and soul. Just listen to these frequencies. And then we'll be doing some crystal, Reiki, and um, really. And then, oh, there we go. Actually, Katie and I have some crystals now. Um, I have a, it's a geisha sort of facial massage tool made of rose quartz, which is a beautiful stone for love of any kind, self-love. And um, it's actually kind of like a heart shape. But it's also to help remind you to I take time to for self care and self love in a physical way. And Kitty, um, what is that stone? That's beautiful. That heart stone. What is that? This is a selenite heart crystal with angel wings. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, it has a very high vibration and it's rich in salt, so it's very cleansing. Oh yeah, I can feel it through the screen completely. Oh my gosh. I love that. Yeah, it's great for cleansing and um, just lifting up your vibration. I love that it's the heart shape to remind you of that, that you're really, really worthy of self-love, of loving yourself truly. And I love the cleansing aspect of that, Katie, because um, just sort of imagining cleansing away any negative thoughts that may have come from your childhood, teenagers, mm. just sort of help. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Just like release that, cleanse that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And I love that rose quartz uh, tool that you have. And it looks like a heart too. And it's beautiful. Oops. All right, and Katie's going to show you that while I might be having technical difficulties. Really, hold on. Just relax and just feel the crystal healing frequencies. And I'm going to send a little gentle Reiki as well behind this Reiki energy healing. Thank you, Katie. Beautiful. And I'm going to send this um, rose quartz, just beautiful love. Give you a little, even a little, pretend like a little massage on your face, cleansing. This is actually great for cleansing your lymphatic, lymphatic system and just sort of helping release anything along with um with Katie's crystal. Just relax the forehead and even the crown chakra. The eyes, the pressing. And cheeks. And chin and jaw, just relax. Let that soft love relax your jaw. And just feel the beautiful Reiki energy and baby as well. For sending you so much love.
And then um, we'd like to do a little card reading for this, um, sort of for this week of Valentine's Day or anytime you're watching it because I feel that through time and space, these messages can come through. Um, Katie, do you want to go first with the card reading? Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw from the Wild Offering Oracle by Tasha Silver and see what messages we have from here. Let us see what we have around the time of this Valentine's Day, around the theme of self-love, what we all need to know for everyone's highest and greatest good. Okay, the card of body came out now is the time to let go of any body shaming or let go of trying to compare yourself to everybody else about what the ideal body size and shape and appearance should be and just love yourself for how you are at this moment right here right now um and yeah so for some of you you might be dealing with body shaming now is the time to love your body the way it is you know, we all are made perfectly imperfect and it's our flaws that make us beautiful. Yeah. It's those imperfections that make us beautiful. You know, I know for me, I have scars, I have cellulite and I have spider veins. And those are things that I don't like, but I've had to learn to accept and love all parts of myself and just know that's just part of the natural part of the body. And it's okay. It's okay. So just love your body, respect your temple for how it is. And it says, show me divine how to love and fully care for this body. Give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body for exactly as it is. You know, uh, I've just, um, yeah. Do you resonate with that? A hundred percent. Yeah. I know. Like I've been taking stuff that's having my hair loss and I'm overweight by a good bit and just wrinkles, all the things, definitely. Um, I, yeah, it's hard to look in the mirror at myself sometimes, you know, how I know a lot of people can resonate with that for sure, but just, it's just about loving. Yeah. Like you said, like we're all here on this earth and they are human form right now. And it's, it's beautiful. And we're beautiful in our imperfections just as we are. And you've, everyone watching you are beautiful just the way you are inside and out kind of that loving yourself inside and out physical mind body spirit um, I love that yes Char is so right on and as she was saying that I was hearing the song uh just the way you are you're beautiful just the way you are there's a song you're beautiful just the way you are I don't remember who it's by <laughs> I don't remember either but my mother-in-law used to sing that um to my daughter Eva, like you are beautiful, just the way you are. Is that no, words yes. can't bring? Is that the one? Yeah, words can't bring me down. Yeah, oh, that's a good one too. Love, is that the one you were thinking, or are you thinking of a different one? <laughs> Those, I was thinking of a different one, but they both go perfectly together. So oh, yeah. Oh. If There's any of you tuning in okay. know what songs we're talking about, please put it in the comment section below and let yeah. us know. And there's a more recent, I know there's a pretty recent pop song, maybe last five years, that I, again, can't think of the name of the person, but she's talking about, oh, man, I'll have to put it in the notes, but it's about, like, she's talking about models and, like, um, oh, man, now, now I can't even think of the tune, but I'll put it in the in the thing below, and it's it's a really powerful song about just, like, body image and self-love and stuff like that oh i just thought of the song from back in my early days um back in the 90s a song called unpretty by tlc that sounds very familiar because i was definitely out of the 90s too yes wow. unpretty by tlc that okay. was a song about uh trying to have the perfect body and the music video was showing women getting plastic surgeries oh after plastic surgery to try to fit the norm of what our magazine covers tell us we're supposed to look like right. and how it led to a major depression for a lot of these women that were trying to cosmetically you know pay to change their bodies they still were unhappy when they did all that because they weren't being true to themselves exactly because that doesn't that's beautiful because that's like even if you do that like you know it's it's that 
loving yourself inside. Yes. Loving yourself inside, no matter what. And even if you do, that's okay. But just love yourself no matter what. Yeah. And just, you know, just love yourself no matter what. You're beautiful just the way you are. Exactly. I remember too, like I was in high school in the nineties and like Kate Moss. And I think these people are, these women are beautiful. There's Kate Moss was the big deal. These really, really thin figures. And I'm more, I, when I'm in shape, it's seen a warrior princess, which is awesome. But I had to do a lot of that. Like, it's okay that I don't look like Kate Moss. I'm curvy. I'm muscly. I'm strong. And I love that, you know, like, and if you're thin, that's cool. Like, you know, like love yourself as exactly how you are exactly what you're saying like but it's hard, definitely a hard thing to yeah exactly exactly and you know just yeah it's I think it's a process especially with the way our society has conditioned us it's it's a process to come to that uh, self-acceptance mm-hmm and uh confidence came out so it says divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of the ego you make space for something larger to take hold fill yourself with confidence and love and just know that you have more courage than you give yourself credit for so just have confidence in your abilities have confidence that you have everything that it takes to move forward in your life and you are the love Instead of looking outside of yourself for love, look within, have confidence that you already embody all the love that you need. Having somebody else in your life to complement that love is just an extra uh, supplement, but Mm -hmm. it's not a necessity. It's just, you know, it's like like dessert. (laughs) If you can find an extra special someone, it's awesome. It's it's a great addition, but it's not like a necessity. It's more like, hey, I got dessert too. Exactly. I love that. I love that metaphor. That's awesome. And that card goes perfectly with the loving, your, like the body image one, like having and like loving your body image and that confidence in yourself, no matter what, you know, inside yes. and out. I think that's beautiful. Like that goes perfectly. Okay. And Katie, you're going to do um, another card reading for us from a different deck? Yes, what I'm going to do is use the Love and Relationships Affirmators deck. So it'll be perfect for Valentine's Day uh, around the topic of video, around the topic of love. Let's go ahead and see what we all need to know for everyone's highest and greatest good. Okay, so we have warmth, honesty, and ownership. Wow. Okay, so this is warmth. Okay, and there's a big bear giving you a hug. (laughs) It says, I focus on warmth and let it guide all my interactions. No matter how others behave, I choose to respond warmly. With warmth, I can melt any icy exterior. I can soften any hard feelings. Okay, so now is a time to adopt killing them with kindness, so to speak. So basically, if there's somebody in your life who comes off as cold or mean or not very nice, allow your love to outshine their fear. Because when somebody acts cold or or mean or or short, usually it's coming from a place of fear, Mm self-centered fear. So we can combat that with love and uh, laughter, a big warm hug, and we can't control how other people act, but we can control how we respond to it. Exactly. And I have found love to really be the best thing to counteract all that. Oh yeah. I completely agree. Like even if you're going on a walk, sometimes I notice people seem in their own world and I say hi and smile and I don't hear back. But even then I think maybe that actually helped them later on or whatever. You just, it's always good to try and like, um, yeah love always always, love is always a good a good one to go to and um absolutely (laughs) I know I yeah I needed that reminder too and um the other card that came out is ownership so now is a time to take ownership for how we make others feel including ourselves and it's time to do our part to repair any bridges that might have been burned And if bridge mending feels impossible, then just start small and just take baby steps one step at a time. And once again, take ownership for how others make you feel since 
we can only allow others to make us feel a certain way if we allow it. And it's easier said than done sometimes, but the best thing for us to do is if we feel triggered by somebody, a person, place, or thing is to step back and to make a choice to love certain individuals at a distance. Mm -hmm. And that's a form of self-love, setting those healthy boundaries. Exactly. Exactly. That's actually so true. Um, I didn't even think about it that way when we're, you know, talking about the self-love videos, but like that definitely is a form of self-love. Like if someone's even in the family, friends, whatever, you know, like her, like, you know, yeah. Like if like they bring sort of negativity or pain, like setting those boundaries, loving from a distance is definitely like you deserve that. You deserve not to have the hurt or pain from those people and you can love at a distance for sure. I love that. Absolutely. And it's kind of like what you shared in the other collab we did on my channel before this one, Shar, when you were talking about how we can be addicted to toxic people and mm -hmm. how that could be an addiction and how we need to cut cords sometimes with people who are no longer serving us. Exactly. Exactly. No. Um, and it's hard. It can be, it can be hard because you know, <laughs> it can be painful. Yeah. Definitely. And that could be friendship, family, romantic, all, anything. Yeah. So just be patient with yourself in the process. And it does take time. It's not like an overnight thing. It takes time. And the card of honesty came out. It says this heralds a wonderful time of reading yourself in complete and total honesty. It might seem scary to tell the truth all the time with everyone about everything. But when you practice radical honesty, you can stop hiding and start relaxing. The best part is honesty from you inspires honesty from others. What results is a root and to in trust parade <laughs> and everyone's invited. So it's that. saying just be honest with yourself and others and be fiercely authentic. And those who are truly meant to be in your life will love you just the way you are. Be um, your fiercely authentic self. I'm seeing a peacock. <laughs> a peacock is all about letting your feathers <laughs> um come out and shine so just be yourself I, I love that I love that so much as a self-conscious shy person I definitely have had issues with that but I feel like I'm making progress so yes no matter what be yourself who can you know people say stuff whatever okay but you're being your authentic self and exactly like who the people that truly get you you're like your soul tribe they'll just be drawn to you. They won't, you know, they'll love that about that you were showing, you know, and expressing yourself truly. Absolutely. So yeah, some of that was some hardcore messages, but I think it's something we all needed to hear. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Like some good, yeah. Hardcore Valentine's like, <laughs> cause you know, self-love it's, it can be, <laughs> it can be, um, it's work sometimes, you know, it's a journey, you know, don't, be, nobody's perfect don't beat yourself up but it's a journey for sure it's a work absolutely <laughs> yes uh so i'm gonna do a little card reading um this one is the soul helper deck which i thought had a nice kind of valentine -y, fiery passionate feel to it um and i pull some cards from the collective this stuff i think there was actually a peacock on that card and i was just seeing a peacock before you know what you're right the is she, i think she has a peacock on like a peacock on your head actually oh my gosh that is so, oh. that's a synchronicity right there oh my gosh right and that's her crown chakra almost interesting oh my gosh <laughs> i didn't even notice i didn't either until just wow. now <laughs> wow all right and we got it I know, watch me pull that. That would be interesting if I pulled that actual card. I didn't, but. <laughs> Let's see. Awaken the magic of your creativity. Oh, I like that. Awaken the magic of your creativity. I'm getting a strong sense of sort of self-expression. Um, so sort of being kind of to go, going along with the confidence one. And being who you are, um, awakening that part of you and not being shy, to, you know, like pushing yourself maybe outside of your comfort zone to express and share that creativity, that authentic who you are, confident, 
um, even if you don't feel confident, maybe I'm getting sort of a sense of like, for example, I've been wanting to go to an open mic night and then maybe perform at one eventually, which terrifies me. But I feel like creating, like that goes along really well with like that. Uh, um, what am I trying to say? It's just that confidence, that sort of like being yourself no matter what. Like, hey, if people don't like it, some people do. Cool. But um, I'm, I'm just sort of getting a strong message. If any of you feel like you've been wanting to do something creative, music, art, dance, just put yourself out there. And then um, there's a smaller part that I'm trying to see. It's a little harder for me to see this part. Immerse yourself. Okay. Immerse yourself in the world of feelings. Ooh, that's interesting. So I'm just getting a strong sense of sort of expressing your feelings in any way, mm -hmm. shape, or form. Um, okay, wow. Well, have courage. And we have a very fierce looking woman. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, warrior. Have courage. And awa another awaken. Awaken the warrior. Oh, wait. Okay. Awaken the warrior. Okay, I love that. Awaken the warrior of light within you. It's sort of like almost this fierce being yourself and light. And that actually goes along with the expression and the confidence quite a bit. Like just awaken that sort of light worker, that light warrior almost in a way of like. Um, just being super strong in who you are, not being afraid of what other people might think, but being your authentic self and showing your light, shining your light without dimming that. I think that actually goes really well um, with that. So I think that's it for my card, um, my card reading for today. But Katie, did any of that, that resonate with you? Absolutely. And it kind of went hand in hand with like the confidence card that came out too, and the courage and just to have courage to just be you and do what you love and love what you do. And, you know, those who truly love you will uh, want you to be happy and just, yeah. you know, I think the main thing is for us to not try to conform to other people's expectations of us because that's when we can lose ourselves. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's so beautiful. And um, thank you so much for doing this collab with me, Katie. Oh, you're welcome. Thank, thank you for having me, Shar. I love your channel. I love all your channels and your energy is beautiful. And your videos help me so much. They help put me to sleep on nights where I can't sleep. So I'm so glad. Well, that's awesome. You too have like so many ways of helping me. So guys, <laughs> check out Katie's channel too. I'm going to end this with showing a little beautiful look at my daughter. My daughter is almost 14. She's on the autistic spectrum. And she made this little craft. I love you to pieces. It has little puzzle pieces oh, and little um popsicle sticks. So, and this cute little fuzzy heart dude. <laughs> that is so cute. I love it. So just know everyone watching that we love you to pieces and have a beautiful, happy Valentine's Day with lots of high vibrations. Yes. Yay. And um, yeah, and we'll see you in another video soon. Definitely check out Katie's channel. I also always forget to mention this. I offer custom videos and card readings. So you can check the description box below for that as well. So have a beautiful Valentine's week. Yay. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. <laughs>